Hi everyone, I'm Jacob from Science for Kids and this is my son Sam and we love doing science together. We hope you've seen some of our other videos. We've done heat transfer by conduction. So this is made out of metal and if I put this in the, in the flame, then the heat travels to the end by a process called conduction. So heat transfer by conduction. Now there's another type of heat transfer and that's by convection. And if we put our hands up here, which is a bit dangerous, but if we put our hands up here, what do you feel, Sam? Warm. It's warm. And it's heat. And it's heat. Ooh. Because the flame is heating up the air and the hot air is rising. And that hot air rising, is it's, the heat is traveling by something called convection. So you should definitely check out our other video, Heat Transfer by Convection. Daddy, look at this. Yeah, but today we're looking at heat transfer by radiation. Heat transfer by? Radiation. Radiation. Now, this is a bit of a weak Bunsen burner, a bit of a weak flame. I'm going to get the powerful flame out. Are we ready, Sam? Yeah. This is the powerful flame. And so I'm going to heat this nail up with oh. the powerful flame. Oh, Sam wants to do it. Okay, Sam's going to heat it up. Oh, we better put on our safety glass oh, yeah. first. Keep our eyes safe. And Sam, okay, you have to make sure you don't point that at anybody. Okay, so you turn that flame on. Flip. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at that fire. Oh, it's heating up the nail. Look at that. The nail glowing red. Wow, look at that. Look at that red nail glowing. And you know what? I can feel the heat from here. The heat from that red hot nail is traveling at the speed of light and warming up my hand. Let's do it again, Sam. We'll do it closer to the camera this time so that the kids can see it even better. Quick. Look at that. When it starts glowing, it starts emitting radiation. And this is thermal radiation or heat radiation. And that heat radiation is traveling to you at the speed of light. Oh, you can feel that heat traveling at the speed of light. You can feel it on the side of your hand, can't you? Yes. Okay, heat it up. And when it glows orange, it's going to transfer the heat via radiation. And Sam and I are going to be able to feel that heat. You can turn the fire off now, Sam. But we can feel the heat via radiation. Yeah. Now the orange is gone. And the orange has gone as it cools off because it cools off because it's giving out the heat. Sam, let's go outside and have a look at the radiometer outside. Let's get our hands together and go out there. Ready, Sam? Woohoo! <laughs> well, here we are outside, Sam, and we're in the sunshine. The radiation from the sun, it's taken eight minutes to reach it. This is called a radiometer. Yeah, what? Okay, come up close, come up close. The radiation is passing through the glass. The radiation is passing through the glass and it's heating up the black side of the, um, the little spinner. And as the black side heats up, it, it sort of ejects little um, air hot molecules, causing it to spin in the sun. This thing's called a radiometer. It sort of shows you when there's some radiation. Look at that spin. What's it called, Sam? Radiation. Nah, yeah, radiation. And what's this machine called? Ugh. A radiometer. Radiometer. <laughs> radiometer. Look at that. The radiation from the sun is causing it to spin. And the radiation can actually go through the glass. Look at that. Hey, is that good? Yes. Yeah. Oh, that was a fun adventure outside, wasn't it, Sam, where we learned about the radiometer? Sam, do you want to learn about this? concave parabolic reflector. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, all right, well, let's put it down. Hey, what are you doing there with the Bunsen burner, Sam? Oh, oh here we are, out in the sun again, Sam. Oh, I've got this special concave reflecting bit. And I'm going to put, Sam, do you want to put the, the marshmallow right there at the point of focus? Yeah, yeah that's it, point, put, put the marshmallow at the point of focus. Have a look at this. We're going to cook the marshmallow in the heat of the sun. 
the sunlight is reflecting off the concave dish and it's hitting the marshmallow. Look at that, can you smell it? Yes. What's it smell like? Marshmallow. Burnt marshmallow. <laughs> How good is that, eh? Do you want to pull that off? And you're gonna eat it. Hey? What's it like? Mmm. Is it nice? <laughs> Is it yummy? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Woo! Oh! How good was that? Exploring cooking marshmallows with the sun. Sam's gonna turn on the infrared light. Oh! Look at that! This is an infrared light. Oh! Heat transfer oh, by. Hey. Heat transfer by. Right? Ray. Radiation. Radiation. Heat transfer by radiation. Oh, how quickly does it travel, do you think, Sam? Very fast. Very fast. At the speed of light. 300,000 ah! kilometers per second. 300,000 kilometers per second. That's how quickly it comes. If this was the sun, well then, in one second, the light would travel 300,000 kilometers. That's a long way. Ah! And what have you put in front of the infrared light, Sam? Uh, um, What's this device called? I've got a radiometer. Radiometer. And the infrared light is going through the glass and it's heating up the little windmill and it's causing the and little windmill to spin. And I've got a silver can and a black can. Now, which one do you think will heat up the quickest if we put it in front of the infrared light? Black. Black, right. you think? Okay. So I've got some special equipment here. Can you put one of these temperature probes in to one? Put the light on them both. So putting the light well, on them both. That? You think yours is winning? Because mine's red. Yours is the red one. And you think the red one's going up more quickly, do you? Mm -hmm. Can you feel the difference, Sam? One's a black can and one's a silver can. Which one is heating up the most by the radiation? Ooh. What it smells, does it, mate? What smells? Oh, it looks like your one is. The red line's going up. Mm -hmm. Yep, yeah, yours is 34 degrees and mine's only 29 degrees. So your, your temperature is much higher already. That's the black can. And I can see a bit of smoke coming out of mine. Is that right? You can actually yeah. see some smoke coming out. That's how much hotter it is. Isn't that interesting? So to keep something cool... You could even put maybe some silver aluminium foil around whatever you're trying to keep Ooh, cool, look at my one. and that will he that will help reflect the, the sun light. <laughs> it's a bit hot, is it? <laughs> wow! <laughs> Woo! Oh, it's it's very hot. Woo! <laughs> Are you all right? What do you do if you burn yourself? You need to put it in cold water. Cold water, but it wasn't quite hot enough to burn yourself, was it? That's how heat is transferred by radiation. Thanks so much for joining us today. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure we'll see you again on another science episode mm -hmm. soon. Oh, Dad, look at my one. Okay, all right. Bye for now, everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs>